Welcome to Interrogation, a game where two contestants have up to 20 questions to unravel a mystery. There are no prizes. It's all just for fun and glory. First contestant, the category is object. Go. Can the object be found in standard household? No. No. No household. In the standard household, no. Yeah. No. It, is this object something you carry around when you are camping? Typically, no. You could, but if people saw you carrying it while you're camping, it would be unusual. Is it a wearable? Something you wear? No. Hmm, object. Is the item related to something survival for survivability? Is it, is it related to... Could you, could like you a survival, survival? Yeah. Is it a survival equipment? Um, some would say yes. Some would say yes. Hmm. Narrow it down some more. Is it edible? No. Okay. Is it a transport? A mode, like, can it be used as a mode of transport? No. No. Ooh, this is very... Is it related to internet? No. No. Not wearable, not edible. Survival. Camp. Okay, 12 more questions to ask. Yep, 12 more questions. Uh, I don't think I have narrowed down enough. Object. Anything can be an object. Uh, it, could have been, it could be considered a survival equipment. It's not something you can wear. It's not something you can eat. Is it a living thing? No. Hmm. Object. Ooh, anything can be an object. Just as a reminder, you can burn too. Yeah. Right hand if you want to. Ah, okay. Does the object has any... Thing written on it? Um, has it anything written on it? Yeah. It could. It commonly does. Commonly does. Commonly does, yes. It could also have no writing on it, but it commonly does have writing on it. Okay, burn two points. Okay, one. Yeah. Two. It is deadly. Deadly. Is it a firearm? No. <laughs> Can be written. It's not fire. Ooh, deadly. Is it? Uh, is it related to fire? No. No. Hmm. Wow. Object. You can. Uh, you cannot wear it. You can carry it around. It would be unusual to see. It commonly is not carried around. It is deadly. It is not a firearm. Fire is not a component. Is it a trap? No. <clears throat> Does it have sharp objects? Yes. Is it a knife? No. <laughs> Is it a needle? No. Ah. <laughs> Three more to go. Deadly. You can carry it around. It would be uncommon to see you carry it around. It could be considered a survival object. It is deadly. It is not a firearm. It is not a knife. It Fire is not a component of it. <clears throat> so no fire at all. What well, object carry? Is it something you will carry on a holiday? What? Is it something you will carry on a holiday? Is it something you would carry on a holiday? Yeah. That would that's a relative term. That's a that's a relative question. It depends on what you would do, what a person would do on a holiday. Yeah. Okay. Like uh so if you were uh would you carry <clears throat> many around people do, many people do many different things in their holidays. Will you carry it around when your families are around you? Will you carry this around when your family's around you? Yeah. On a holiday. Typically no. No. Last question. Oh, you got two more. One, two. Oh, he's deadly. It's not needle. Fire you is need to happening. start naming them. Naming an object is deadly. <clears throat> you can carry it. It's not wearable. It's not a firearm. It's not a knife. Typically, you would not carry this around with your family. And not a household item. Uh, you didn't ask that. Okay, is it a uh, household you item? Qu you got two questions left. Do you want that to be one of your last two questions if, if it's a household item? Okay, is it a glass what? Is it a glass? Is it a glass? Yeah. No. <gasps> one left. Last one. One last one. Fire is not a component. Got to name it this time. Time to pull yeah. a rabbit out of the hat. Ah, uh, not glass. And it's sharp. It's sharp. Is not sharp. It is, well, it is, sharp. Dead, it is deadly. It is sharp. <clears throat> <clears throat> you can carry around it. It is not wearable. Fire is not a component of it. Not a firearm, not a knife. It's not something typically you would carry around with your family. A Lego okay. block. What? <laughs> Lego block. Is that your last question? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, no.
Okay. <laughs> well, Frosty, well, you know, you know, he points all the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, we'll see how he does. Yeah, maybe, he, maybe he won't get it either. <laughs> now, Frosty, what else can you tell us about your YouTube channel? Like, um, what would you like to tell us? Yeah. So, uh, my plan for yeah, what was your my, what are your dreams for your channel? Yeah. So my uh plans for the the, the future of my YouTube channel is to go to my uh, local game stores and like uh just paint uh like do commissions or just paint the miniatures for the store and just display it there for them uh to just put it on a display case yeah and also i hope i can like uh go and uh go to a local game store and also like uh learn from the their own painters over there together yeah will you film that yeah i uh, 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 i hope i can film that with uh the the people in the local game store now have you talked to the, the people in the game game store yet about doing this not yet it's just a plan for now because i mean my subscriber base is not that much and they have like much more <laughs> so uh yeah th this is my future plan oh you want you want to be a larger channel before you approach the game store is that it yeah yeah so how large uh, as of the as the, of the recording of this video how large is your channel right now I only have like, I think it's 56 subscribers now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. right now this one here only has 28. So <laughs> yeah, we, we'll grow together. Yep. Yep. And every, <laughs> every, every journey starts with a step and this is our steps. Um, yes. On my channel, I've only publicly released at the, as of the recording of this video, I've only publicly released one video so far. I have over, well, now I have over 44 game episodes oh. recorded. Um, they're all in the process of being in one form or another edited, and we're already starting to load them. So, and, and we initially started off with uh, just doing two weeks, but we have enough backlog that we're now doing three weeks. Now, how often do you do your, how often do you release your uh, videos? I usually release them weekly weekly yep. yeah yeah and i also only record them uh, during my off days which uh is staggered sometimes it's like two off days in a week sometimes it's just one off day in a week so yeah i'll, I'll try to post weekly oh cool, cool. yeah <laughs> okay folks <clears throat> this is the fourth of a five-part um competition series with frosty and dave um if you like this and like to see uh, more of the rest of this competition please subscribe and you'll be given notification as well as all of the other oops as well as all the other competition series that are on this channel and frosty has been already in a different competition series she he was when he was in one with crystal so also if you're a youtuber podcaster or an author and like to appear on this uh, show as a contestant in the description there's a link to a contestant application form uh please click on it fill it out and i'd love to have you on this show after this commercial break we'll see how dave does be right back Welcome back to Interrogation. Dave, would you like to tell us what your dreams, your hopes, your plans are for your channel? I mean, I like, uh, I mean, I, I've been in China for two years now. And, and so far I've, I've, with my videos, I've just been catching up on the things that I've been doing. Um, but I realize uh, it'd be nice. So much happens in the space of a week, really. Uh, so I, I want to start doing maybe like a live chat. because I meet, I meet so many people from all over the world. And I just feel like it's a real interesting time and place you know so so i i want to start doing like a weekly live thing a, a podcast a video podcast you my uh so i, I mean i see vlogcast like uh I, i'm going to be doing it on youtube uh through the same channel through my butt new channel and uh basically we do a live broadcast uh and i'll give 20 minutes each time i'll have a kind of theme i might have a guest uh and i'm going to try and just sort of if there's no one there to ask questions and bounce off, then we've got stuff to talk about. It's fine. But if people are there and they want to interrupt and, you know, bring their general public foreheads into my uh, flow, mm -hmm. then uh, they're more than welcome to do so. You know, I will tackle anything, anything. <laughs> hit, hit well, me. Well, uh, the plan is um, that I'll be on his podcast. Um, it will uh, if we do it live, it'll be on the same day that um, the first of this competition series will air on my channel. Uh, so if I have been on it, I've already been on it by the time you see this video. Uh, well, now it gets complicated. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, because we're recording this, of course. Oh my God, I went, the, I've got a language joke. It gets tense. What? Is it future or past? Oh yeah. <laughs> so. But I'm too anxious. <laughs> <laughs> tense, but I'm bum, bum. 
Yeah. But um, so is so you're you're looking at the shift. Is this just like a, a subset of the channel, or is this more of a shift to being more just a, a live podcast for your channel? It's. I mean, I guess it's another string to the bow. Basically, I I think there's there's. I mean, I'm mostly I have a lot of Facebook followers, and I'm always being asked questions, and and I reply to them, and I, I think well maybe plus as well people are saying I don't make videos often enough, but um, how often do you, you make know, videos? Well. I try to do once a week, but sometimes life gets in the way. I'm, I'm actually a full-time teacher. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I was like, meant to ask you sometimes about Sometimes you've that. got a lot of other things to do in different times, and we have long holidays, things like that. We, what, do, what do you teach? What do you teach? Uh, well, I'm actually teaching English uh, to kindergarten. But, um, really? The kindergarten? But- I'm not doing it your regular way. We actually do it uh, in a regular media style. This this one town in Italy did this as a trial, I think back in the 50s or 60s, but uh, Montessori. And um, they tried, instead of like everyone goes to school when they're like four or five or six, like basically as soon as your parents are happy to take you to socialize the better and we don't we don't kind of get you memorizing things literally my my lessons are in english but i'm asking the kids questions and the kids are asking questions to me i don't tell them answers i ask more and more questions so it's really about touch sense exploration in those early years that give us a real strong kind of character build to go out there and explore the world and see what we find you know? well, that's cool but before this i was working with dementia as well you know and again there's a lot of crossover you know it's it's all about being relaxed relaxing people around you and let's take a look at what's there oh cool now did, did, have you done any Don't of your afraid of things you know? have you done any of your videos on your channel about you being a teacher not at all because i feel like it's a uh do you know the main reason you'll ever meet any foreigner in china and probably most of asia to be honest is uh generally they're here to teach english yeah and it's a very common experience yeah. i guess oh i, I almost i almost what we did, did. yeah i almost did 20 years ago um, yeah I, yeah I, I even had a- i mean i i, I spent a good 15 years debating doing it and then one day i was just i'm getting old I've got gray hairs i mean it, this is just for men i dyed my beard man oh <laughs> i don't i look just like you jack i'm a <laughs> oh i don't mind <laughs> I'm, eventually, I'm eventually gonna i'm looking forward to the day when i go white um i'm blonde but it's a good look it's a good look it's yeah, be, you know i'll be santa claus ho 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 you can sneak up on people in the snow. There we go. <laughs> but um, no, and 20 years ago, I, I seriously thought about it. I contacted over there um, and I had a school that was very much interested in me coming on over. They were paying, they were paid for my flight over. They said they'd fly me first class. Um, they said, I don't even want to fly first class internationally. They put me up into an apartment. Uh, they provide me a driver uh, because I guess a, getting a license there is hard or was 20 years ago and they even sent me photographs of the of the house it was and i was i was single at the time it was going to be a four bedroom an apartment and i guess it doesn't matter now it wasn't going to be in shanghai and then then i was also looking at doing it in tokyo and they they offered even a better of a deal uh, i didn't do it because um i was a marketing consultant at the time and for me to leave uh boy you know it took me so long to build up my my clients that it yeah, was, it's, a, it's a big leap to take. Oh, yeah, it, I would basically I would have been just saying, okay, bye. <laughs> but you think and, about it now, um, and it, twenty years later, wow, the internet's so cool. You yeah. can, you can do anything from distance, you know. So yeah. I still do a lot of uh, things with people back home, and uh, yeah, and you know, the world's a much smaller place now. Yeah, and back then it was also very much. Um, uh, I don't want to go political on, on this channel, but in China, <laughs> it's tough, right? It's, yeah, but 20, it's cool. 20 years ago, something happened in China that they don't like talking about. So anyways, um, but, but made a very tense situation and, and I didn't know what the, how the, at that time, I was really wondering how the world was going to act. So I was more interested. I was, if I was going to do it, I would have done it in Japan. Uh, the offer but was yeah. better. The, the offer would have been better. It would have been paid a lot more. You know, I'd say uh, I came here right before this uh, virus thing kicked off. And, and uh, there have been times when I've been uh, nervous because of the kind of political aspect. But at the same time, I, I everyone's... Yeah, everyone's I, mean, I, was concerned, I was concerned about Shanghai because it was such a... But the school that city. The, the school assured me that, and here's the weird thing about it, the school assured me that if anything went back wrong, they would get me out of the country as fast as possible. It's like that's a selling point, you know. I mean, this is a selling point. I, 
The no, economies, you know. No, they, sure. they, 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 like, yeah. they, they had the, their, I think they called a liaison officer or whatever, and he gave me the whole spiel of how if things go wrong, they they have um, procedures of getting all their foreign teachers out of the country as fast as possible. Um, I think generally speaking, it's incredibly, incredibly rare that things like that come up. We're, we're talking about real historic events that are very yeah. few and far. Well, the one 20 years ago, a certain... That historic- was, yeah, you know, you- a certain historical yeah, I, guy um, was very fresh I, in everyone's mind. I can stab in the dark, and you know, yeah, but like, but you know. I don't, I don't want to go, I don't want to go political on this show, but <laughs> I think people can figure out what it was. So that was, and that's why, and they were so desperate. The the school had lost. They had a hundred English teachers. They lost all but three. All all ninety seven of their teachers. <laughs> left the country um they're all those scared free, they and just, those free teachers were the hardcore those like, are the saving oh, yeah, private well, ryan hard some, nuts yeah the they were the three teachers that remained were all married to uh chinese uh nationals oh of course, they, yeah okay yeah. and they had children and it would have been major disruption for their and they were not they were not really teachers at that stage. They were, they're basically administrators of the teachers. Uh-huh. And, but all the people that, the teachers that actually dealt with the students, all of them, all 93 left. And it was me. No, I need a haircut so bad. <laughs> looking okay. in, just looking in the preview window. <laughs> oh my God. I keep like, oh. Who is this guy? It's the light <laughs> up here. I need some. There you go. There you Howdy. go. Okay, Dave, there are you go. ready to compete? Yeah, okay. Contestant, the category is object. Go. Is its primary use for fun? Today, yes. And in the past, no. It's fun now. Today, Ironic. yes. In the Ironically, past, no. Uh, is it electrical in no. nature? It's not. No. So we're looking at that. That might have been a good question, actually. So it's something mechanic, no object, paperweight, be a block. Don't put on the head, says Frosty. <laughs> Is its invention post nine uh, eighteen ninety nine? Does the invention happen post eighteen ninety nine? After eighteen ninety nine, is it? Is it like I was going to say? Is it modern? But for let's be specific, eighteen ninety nine. Is it? It's pre. Pre. It's pre, and it it's fun now. It didn't used to be fun. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Does its invention predate 1000 AD? Yes. Um, it does. So it's an ancient oh, no. invention. Oh, uh, yes, it does. Yeah, it is 990 I, I, AD, I, something like that. I believe so. I believe it does. Okay. Pretty old. Let me just think. Yeah. Is its, is its general use military? Um, today, no. At one time, yes. Today, no. In the past, yes. House. But today, no. Someone's been killed by everything, right? Mm-hmm. Like a tree. Yo-yos. <laughs> a tree is a weapon. Like a stick. Right? You, you know, and all the other parts of the tree. <laughs> like the leaf. You paper cut me. No. <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> what? 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 Is it? So right. So I want to ask: Is it a natural object? Or is it man-made? But I guess the way to say that the best would be something along the lines of that. Did a uh, is it a man-processed object? Yes. Can you wear it? No. Um. Can you wear it? Generally, it would be no, right? But like you know, is that what you're saying? Yeah, we... Generally, you'd be, be no, but you can you can wear it. Uh, generally, it's... no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Generally, no. Okay, you could wear a dining chair on your back if you wanted, but you wouldn't. It would fit. Go wear a tree. So, it's not a dining chair, though. I don't believe it's a dining chair. Well, do you want to find that out? Right now, (laughs) I'll I'll save it a bit. I want to narrow it down a bit more first, thanks, Jack. Because you know, Uh, because you know, those military dining chairs were so prevalent. (laughs) Previously military, now they're. Oh, of course. Yeah, peaceful well, at one, dining chairs. At, at one time, those ballistic um, dining chairs. Every dining were, chair. <laughs> you know, the dining chair charge. Are those clues? Are those clues? No, I mean, dining charge with talk cannons? I, mean, I think all ammunition. <laughs> I really <laughs> doubt dining chairs were ever a military object. <laughs> no, because they'd still be military. Um, well, then everything is military. What was military and is no longer military? That's like. 
Well, it's almost like a, a, a few questions would help clear that up if you were to ask them, you know, just you know, speaking out loud. Dining uh, table. Probably three questions <laughs> could clear that up. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to have to upgrade my seat, sit a bit higher. There we go. Are we, is it an animal product? No. It seemed like a tusk. That's cool. It's not. So we, we've gone the other way. So it's not ivory or anything. Yeah, because all those ivory weapons. That whole classification of weapon is is now out of the picture. Yeah. Good. They're not ethical, you know. Oh, of Good course. to get them out of the way, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, the modern-day military, that would be such a concern. <laughs> Last thing you want on your... <laughs> On your on your game show is ivory talk. Yeah, there you go. There you Let's go. Let's get that out of the way right now. Yep, no, right no now. contentious ivory it's, talk. It's gone. Right. So we're looking at objects. It's not yep. a category. Yep. Fine, it is. But today, at one time, it was a military object. Today, it is not. I believe this invention happened before 1000 AD. I could be wrong, but I believe so. Would you Would you not agree, Frosty? Yeah, I think it's way before that. Is it metal? Is it made of metal, generally? Generally? Generally, is it made of metal? Generally. Define generally. Do you mean like in the majority? If you had the quintessential example of this particular object, would it predominantly be made of metal? No. Metal or ivory. That really narrows it down. (laughs) Still ivory. There have been ones that have been made completely out of metal, but in general, the majority general. in general, the majority is not made out of metal. <laughs> what is he doing? Can its use be cosmetic? What? What? Can it be used for cosmetic things? <laughs> no. No, straight up, no. No. Go. Cool. Cool. No. The cosmetic military cosmetics is is, is not a military cosmetic. I just thought you could comb your hair and then stab someone in the face with the there same device. Go. There you go. Uh, have the dagger be part of co- part comb. There you go. Yeah, um, they were for cleaning your nails originally, and then they worked go. out. Of course, you can have people away with it. You know. Yeah, just like the the, su- the soup bowl. That's also a disc of. Originally, that was for kneecapping people. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, but then they were like, "Oh, you can have soup out of this. <laughs> yeah. That's handy." There you go. <laughs> So it's not military. So it's military now. It was military, but it it's was not military. military but now so it is not. Three one thousand AD, probably around that. Very, very, very likely. So it's early Viking, late. Eventually, Roman. I'm going to have uh, researchers here. As soon as this channel becomes profitable enough, I'll have people typing away. You want some expert in the background and pop in and confirm yeah, that? No, oh, that was you know. Yeah, that's what we uh-huh. you know like is like we sh- maybe she pulls the game and so we can confirm oh. the date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure it's before 1008. Is it was invented 1080 and Frosty oh, was and Frosty agrees it was invented before then. Yeah, I think it's way before that. Would does it have a sharp? Is is it sharp at all? Yes. Oh. It's not silly, buddy. And you can't wear it. Because when I said that, I was thinking about the stiletto shoes. Or like it had a sharp heel. So the military, like, the yeah, military it's, it's stiletto like shoes. Like a Japanese thing. Uh, I, so I, I you can't, off camera, I've got, I've got my foot up. Like, <laughs> like that. Yeah, that, that, that was something I thought of. Sure. Uh, <laughs> the, the military stiletto was very well known in, in, in the past. I think so, it was known as Mileto. Kill, killed millions it's of people. For sure. You know. Is it... Dining chair, uh, <laughs> a military dining chair. Yeah. <laughs> is it something that is ceremonial? Was it like I could see I've asked the wrong question before you've answered it? It's not so. I I know. Of... Forget I asked it. Forget I asked okay. it. Like, okay. You know, it's a, it's a stupid question. Sorry, I'm on the wrong angle. Uh, if uh, at one time it was. Yeah, get, uh, get, could, could I have my uh, my clue for two points, yeah. please, Jack? Okay. Frosty, stop laughing. I, th- I think you're quite new. <clears throat> I can think of like, I've narrowed it down. It's an it object. Is. Sometimes you can hurt people with it. Sometimes you probably wouldn't. It's like, that's it. That's all I've got. It is a weapon. This is your clue. It yeah. is a weapon known to be able to be used by weak soldiers. Ah, big clue. Chlamydia. <laughs> Weaponized chl- chlamydia. There we go. Um, is it a poison? No. No, oh, what am I thinking? I already knew it wasn't that. It could be, right? Uh, thinking about the tooth. <clears throat> and you, the cyanide tooth. 
it. And there you go. And one time it was a military weapon. Today it is not. It is sharp. It is a weapon considered for is a weapon that is considered to be for weak soldiers. It is not a dining room table. Is <laughs> is it long? Like is it is it more than it define long? I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Is is it more than you the height of a man? What? <laughs> is it more than two meters in length? No. That was a stupid question. I could have gone a little lower. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure there are. I think there are lamps. Sure there are I'm examples thinking. where it is, but typically it's not. Like a crossbow. Is it mechanical? Is it mechanical? Yes, it's mechanical. <laughs> is it a crossbow? It is a crossbow. <laughs> 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 I, I love that you says like a crossbow. Yeah. It was like what? he was just saying that, like, I, 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 yeah, but I'm not going to waste a question until I'm closer. <laughs> oh yeah, you got forward. <laughs> this is a very good way of doing it. But it was it, no military today uses it except for maybe if you, you if you if yeah, you okay, yeah, yeah. Say it's ceremonial. There are militaries that do have um, soldiers that have ceremonial crossbows. Okay, I'll, um, but is that no really free? Because I've just figured if I had a crossbow and someone broke in my house, there you go. <laughs> yep, um, that's military, man. Yeah, right no, in your... but no, no military <laughs> issues them today because of, of course they're going to issue a rifle, machine gun, etc. You know, um, I wouldn't do that. By the way, actually, I I try to talk to them first. I wouldn't just shoot before shooting a crossbow at them. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know, I mean, give me 10 minutes to load. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's also considered a weapon for weak soldiers. Is um, yeah, that, that that's where I go, that board. actually honed me in on it like the weak soldier thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but. because uh, the the pulling a bow was required a lot of strength. The, the English long, long bowmen were very strong, but they were they were trained that trained from around very, the clock, you know, yeah, yeah, from very young, they were trained how to do that. You know, you know, I used to live in um, I used to live in a town called Reading, just mm -hmm. outside London in uh, England, and uh, there's a place called St Mary's Butts, and and we, everyone giggles because you're like, oh, <laughs> butts, yeah. but it's uh because uh, they mean like um archery butts, so oh, it was actually yeah. like a target range, but mm -hmm. it was next to the church, and it was right in the center of the town, and wow. you know, every day people of a certain class they'd be there practicing. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it was, was really uh, it was encouraged by the state, you know. For... Oh yeah, it was. Um, um, and but then when the crossbow was, but the crossbow has advantages and disadvantages. Um, its rate of fire is, <clears throat> is nothing like the, the slow, bow. Yeah, you, know, you have a. Oh, I forget. It was, I I remember on like I think it was a History Channel or something like that, where they show a, a person that has been trained as, you know, he could actually do the English longbow. Yeah, and, and they had him compete against a guy with a crossbow, and the English lawman would just wail and just, you know, the arrows are just flying out. And this guy's going, <laughs> but then when he let go, it went right through the metal um, yeah. armor. Just went right. Yeah, through. so much force up close. That yeah. was that was your medieval shotgun. Yeah, and, and it Let's was face it. very deadly. You know, but yeah. Yeah. you 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 cranked it on up and. And that's how, because he used a little crank on the side, that's how weak soldiers could do, could do it. But yeah, that was, um, and I thought it would be an interesting uh, topic. Okay, uh, this is the end of uh, four, oh, the hey, fourth. Uh, is the, could I show, sure. Could I show Frosty something? Sure. Yeah. So I actually have my, uh, oh my, my lizard men blood bowl. <laughs> so I, I played Warhammer all my life. So it's really cool that I'm paired with someone. So there's that guy. Huh. It's one of my uh in China I've only got my Blood Bowl team, but I mean you see how small these are, Jack. Yeah, the, we spend a lot of time painting and it's a real cool hobby. Okay. You know, I think it's so good for kids. It teaches you attention to detail and patience. But oh, like cool. it's so rewarding, eh? Cool. So Frosty, it's an honor <laughs> yeah. to be uh paired up with you in this uh tournament. Yeah. I used to have a Tyranid army, and the painting was better. I have to say. <laughs> and you didn't. Bring I had to. Get, I left them oh. in the UK, so I couldn't show you. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
But it's okay. cool. I'm going to check out your channel after this, man. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll sub it. I'll sub to your oh, okay. channel. <laughs> this is the fourth of a five um, game series. It's right now three um, for Dave and one tie. Zero. Um, but, but maybe Frosty can pull out a win <laughs> here in the last, the last round. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So we'll see. We'll see you all in the last round. Bye. Bye.